All right, back for another beer review, and today I'll be reviewing yet another beer from the other half brewing company, and they're out of both Brooklyn and East Bloomfield, New York, and this is their Double Dry Hopped Green City. So this is an IPA that comes in at 7% alcohol by volume, no IBUs less in time of review. This can is approximately five weeks old. So another other half of beer, and uh, it's just an IPA. So I haven't reviewed a regular IPA from other half in at least six months, might be older, probably earlier this year, more often than not, I'm reviewing their, you know, uh, Imperial Oat Cream IPAs or Triple IPAs or some kind of crazy sour or whatever the case may be. So nice to have a 7% IPA. Uh, it's double dry hopped. They're using Simcoe, Citra, and Centennial. And uh, yeah, it just seems like a simple offering from them, which is rare. They're always doing crazy. Their HDHC treatment, um, you know, using a shit ton of hops, so the whole nine. So hopefully this is good. Five weeks old, we should be fine. So yeah, it's pouring out like a other half hazy of some sort. A little darker maybe wow that smells really green green city i see what they did there but really like real green off the top like like hot matter type of greenness anyway that's a little bit darker than most of their uh ipas i would say that has more of like this honey orange but a darker honey orange color uh turby turby what does it say murky and turbid that's a turby fuck me turbid and murky about a finger of an off-white very creamy looking head but yeah i mean it plays a role of like a New England style IPA, but darker than typical from them. Usually if a beer is this dark, it's one of their triple IPAs, whatever. Oh yeah, that's a uh, very green, dank, herbaceous. And then you're hit with like stone and tropical fruits. Definitely pineapple and mango. Really nice. Sweeter honeydew melon. A nice like hybrid of like a grapefruit orange, almost like a Tangelo-esque type of nose. Smells on top of that like green vegetable. I mean, it, does, it doesn't have like a hot burn like kind of nose where you know you're going to drink it and, you know, it's going to have that, uh, that that green kind of character that has that like hot burn to it. This just smells like it's very dank and herbaceous and just has like a green matter type of uh, smell to it. But underneath that, lots of luscious tropical and stone fruit. Yeah, pineapple, mango, honeydew melon. Tangelo, sweet, sticky fruits. Wow, that actually smells fucking dynamite. Let's get into it. Cheers, everybody. Man. I miss, I mean, I haven't been drinking a lot of other half um, beers on the channel. The last time I, I got some was from a, a good friend of mine, a viewer of the channel, Dan. Um, he sent me a couple. But I was going to, you know, other half like once a month and picking up different four packs of their beers. And typically I would do like other half Monday where like every week I would review another half beer. You will see this on a Monday. Kind of bring them back the other half Mondays a little bit. I'll probably will yeah, going forward. But um, I just miss their mouthfeels on their beers. They're so fucking good. I don't think this one is using lactose. Although I do get a sweetness that maybe would say there's lactose in here. But... Probably just a bunch of oats, some torrified wheat, you know, and they just have a great mouthfeel. Even though this is an oat cream IPA from them, the mouthfeel is fantastic. Body for 7%. That's like straight up medium body. So body, appropriate, mouthfeel, fucking fantastic taste. The nose pretty much carried over, but dial it back about 25% in terms of intensity of flavors. Right at the forefront, I'm hit with more juicy zesty kind of citrus components that tange tangelo i was talking about yes um but then i'm getting more like ruby red grapefruit maybe some like white grapefruit zest pith um a little bit of orange peel as well that passes through the palate and right middle of the palate is where i'm hit with that green vegetal very dank and herbaceous type of note it's only almost, almost grassy has a very green type of um, component to it um, and then on the back end, this is rare, again for me, the fruits come back, but instead of being the zesty, juicy citrus fruits, it's that pineapple, that mango, that honeydew melon, and that hits on the back end. And it finishes with a combination of that dank, earthy, grassy type of component, along with those really nice, sticky, sweet, tropical and stone fruits. So it kind of blends and they kind of cancel each other out in terms of like, you have the sweeter fruits with like the dang kind of almost bitterness and it finishes with a semi-dry finish. This one, I'd say this is moderately bitter. It has a pretty good balance, but I think it leans more moderately bitter. It doesn't finish as sweet as a lot of their beers do. 
Yeah, real easy to drink, 7%. You really can't tell. As you can see, I'm pretty much putting this back quite easily. It's um, it's complex, but not if the nose would have been carrying over 100% with the intensity of those fruits, I think I would like this one a lot. As is, I really dig it. And the sign between a high four or a low four, two, five for score. I'm going to give Double Dry Hopped Green City a low. I'm actually going to go low four, two, five for one reason, the mouthfeel. I think it's superb. Um, and again, I, this is not one of their Imperial Oat Cream or just Oat Cream IPAs in general. Uh, but the mouthfeel is bonkers. So I'll bump it up. I'm going to give it a 4.15 out of 5. So just into the low 425 range for me. Really good beer. Um, you know, nothing that's mind-blowing uh, when it comes to other half. I've had so many better beers than this. But when you're talking about 7% IPA, double dry hop with those three hops, two of them old school, Simcoe and, and Centennial. Citra technically old school at this point too. Um, I think they did a really good job with it. I think... I like the green aspect to it. Obviously, they're calling it Green City, and you can kind of taste that in here for sure. There's enough like fruity hop character to kind of uh, balance that all out as well. Yeah, so pretty good. Price point on this one, $18 a four-pack. That's a going rate for IPAs, 7%. Uh, most places you go, you'll pay 18, maybe sometimes 16, maybe sometimes 20. A lot of people talking about, you know, uh, price points getting kind of wonky nowadays, and they are. There's a lot of breweries. Yeah, they're they're high, uh, but eighteen dollars a four pack is kind of what you know a lot of a lot of places have been charging for the last couple of years. So, I think it's worth it for a beer this good. Um, and availability, other half, a lot of places now, and you can buy stuff on their website as well. So, if you're in New York State or I believe Washington D.C., um, you can definitely buy their stuff on their website. And uh, lot, they're getting a lot of distro here, local now in the Western New York. A bunch of places are getting them, so not as hard as they once were, which means because a lot of people can get them now, the hype on other half is going to die out and everyone's going to be like, oh, they're shit or whatever. I don't know. I've still had, you know, some beers over the past couple months from them that are really fucking still delicious, and I hope they continue to be because I don't care what anyone else says. I enjoy other half, and this is a beer that I picked up relatively local to me and fucking still good, so yeah. One more sip. Yeah, really good. Five weeks old too. And uh, it's not like super fresh, fresh enough, still damn good beer. So if you've had double dry hop Green City or maybe the base Green City, or you've had anything from other half recently, maybe you started getting distro, let me know what you think about them. Let me know what you think about this beer. I appreciate everybody stopping by for another beer review here on the Beer Patrol. Like I said, 7%. It drinks so much lower than that, and uh, that's good. You, this is scary beer. Dangerous. A very, very dangerous beer. Shout out to Guy over at Drinking Canada. I haven't shouted out in a long time, but he always would say beers are very, very dangerous, and this is at 7%. You could drink a four-pack of this, be feeling great, and not even know it. Anyway, till the next one. Cheers.